In this demo, I'm going to show how Cursor and Wiremox MCP server, uh, which is in prototype at the moment, um, can be used to take an app that has some API dependencies and to uh, generate mocks for those dependencies in Wiremox Cloud and then uh, and then swap the real APIs for the mocked APIs when the app is running in development mode. Uh, I've got the Wiremox MCP server installed in my, my Cursor settings here. Um, and I've also got some uh, pre-baked rules that I've been developing that um, help uh, the LLM generate sort of good quality uh, wire mock uh, mocks of the, the in the style that, that I prefer. Um, so the app itself is a, a Next.js uh, TypeScript app. I've generated it entirely with cursor. I haven't written any code myself. Um, it's uh, essentially just does this at the moment. It shows me this kind of weather dashboard. Um, and it makes uh, two API calls in order to, to achieve this. So first of all, it calls IP API in order to find out uh, my location from my IP address. Uh, and then it calls weather API with that information saying, get me the weather for whatever was returned from IP API. Um, so we have two APIs to mock. Um, they are, their base URLs are defined up here. As you can see at the moment, they're just kind of hard coded to the production API base URLs. Well, what we want is to, when in development, swap these out for uh, our newly generated mocks. So I'm going to ask the LLM to do this for me. I've uh, pre-written this prompt. It's basically just saying, create a, a mock, a <clears throat> excuse me, a mock API and wire mock cloud for each of the APIs in this project. Configure the application to use them when in development mode. Uh, I'm asking it explicitly not to create any local wire mock configuration since it seems to like to do that sometimes unnecessarily. So let's kick this off. And what it should do first is scan the project and try and find all instances of external APIs that the project's calling out to. So it's discovered both of the APIs that we're using, which is good. And um, it's now starting to do some work with Wiremock Cloud. So it's checked that we're, we're logged into Wiremock Cloud and it's creating a mock API in Wiremock Cloud for each of the APIs we found in the project. Now it's importing the stubs that it's generated into each of those that defines the behavior of the mock APIs. Okay, so it seems to have successfully done all the uh, Wiremock Cloud bits of the work. So now it's reconfiguring the application in order to integrate with these mocks. So you see we have these, these alternative base URLs here that it's uh, configuring. While it's doing this piece of work, let's head over to Wiremock Cloud and go to the mock API list. And here we are, I've got this weather API mock uh, an IP API mock. And if we drop into one of these, we can see that this is a, um, a generated example of the, the data returned by the, the, uh, the weather API. And then likewise, we've got a similar example of the, uh, the IP API, the JSON that it returns. Okay, so it seems to have finished its work um, and it's started the server on, on uh, port 3001. Um, so let's go and switch over to 3001 so we get the, the updated version of the, the dashboard. Okay, so this is uh, still showing the same, the same uh, output, although the, the data in it's changed. But what this should have done is pulled it from the mock rather than the real thing. And we can go and check this if we go and have a look at the the request log for here. So, okay, we can see here that a request has been made to this mock API. Uh, it's come from a browser, so it looks like it was from our, our weather app. And so it looks like we're now fetching the mock data rather than the, uh, the real data, which is good. And if we really want to prove the points, we can go and make an edit to the data that it's returning. So let's be a little bit more British about our description of the weather. So we'll put an alternative description for the, the weather condition in there. And when we go and hit refresh, we, we see it's changed to the uh, description of the weather that I, I put in there. And that's about it. So that's shown how, uh, where we have some existing API dependencies in our project, uh, we can fully automate the process using cursor of 
um, substituting those for mocks uh, very quickly and easily.